Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, my little puppy Oliver has destroyed his bed. You know how dogs love to nest. He has nested and I have patched it up here. I've actually patched all of this, but he's torn it apart again. So I came across this really, really nice fur blanket. It was less than $10. I'll put a link in the description. And I'm going to try to re upholster his bed with this using some yarn that I already have. So I think that this will be a pretty quick solution and I think he'll absolutely love it. So the first thing that we're going to do is turn the bed inside out. That's gonna make it a lot easier to sew. So let me do that really quick. So as you can see, now the bed is flipped inside out and we're gonna flip it over. So this is the bottom of the bed. And you see I have the blanket underneath and I'm going to sew the blanket with this yarn. I started it here. You can see I started it all the way around the inside of the bed while it's inside out. And then when we flip it back over, it should be beautifully covered. All right, let's get started. Okay, I have it positioned where the blanket is fairly taut. I have like the finished edge coming right up here to the finished edge of the outside of the bed. See, that's inside, this is outside. So it's gonna be right there. And then you can see on this side, it also comes right up the exact same way. And then we'll have to figure out what to do with this corner. We'll probably have to cut that or just tuck it in. And I'm just gonna do that all the way around and where we have extra fabric, I'll cut it off. Hi, Oliver. Hey, he's so excited about this. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take our yarn needle. I had some extra yarn needles. Just grab some, they're super inexpensive. And first you're going to go through the blanket so push through. I go right above where the uh, the hemline is and just pull that through. And then you want to press it through the first layer here of the bed. You don't need to go all the way through to the outside, just right there on the inside. And then push it back up. All right, try not to break the needle. <laughs> so. You see how I've gone through there? So now I'm gonna pull it through. Yeah, and that's that. See how it's pulled down? It's sewn down now. And now we're just gonna keep on doing that. So to come back through, you take it, push it back through the fabric, through the blanket, right above that hemline, since that's kind of like our marker. It's a little bit tough to do, but you can get it through, just pull it. And I did have to knot my yarn around this needle, but you see it's kind of coming loose, so I probably need to tie that again. And then you pull that through. And so now this whole row is taut around. It's like gonna be a nice, smooth finish. And you can't even really see the line. So you have to kind of push back the fur. So I'm just gonna do that all the way around, just using the actual hemline of the blanket and lining it up and sewing it against the hemline of the, the uh, bed. And we'll get a nice clean finish. Okay, so we've come, we've done that whole side. It looks really nice. And we've come to this corner and this is where the blanket is longer. So what I think I'm going to do is just go ahead and sew it, you know, fairly taut. I don't want it to be too tight because I want to get some stuffing in there. He's gotten all the stuffing out of this side, but I'm going to just kind of sew it across exactly how I did there. And then I'm going to come back and cut off the, um, the extra fabric. All right. So as you can see, I've been working my way along, staying in line with where the top of this bed is. 
and then we'll go and we'll just cut this off once we're done going all the way around. Okay, so as you can see, we have finished sewing this to the bed. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it off right here so that we have a nice clean edge. Now it looks like we're probably going to have to hem this up because look at the edge. It's like all, I don't know. It looks like it might unravel, we'll see. Okay, let's keep going. So I just have this one last piece left and you see this is the big part of the blanket. I did the exact same way I did this side and I just sewed it down as close to the edge as I could and now I'm going to cut it off. All of this I have to cut off because as you can see it's sewn down to the shape of the bed. All right. As you can see, I have got it all sewn all the way across. Still haven't finished it off yet, but it, the blanket is sewn to the inside. So let's just go ahead and flip it over and turn it back the way it will be when Oliver hops into it. Okay, so you see how that worked out? We still have the bottom of the bed all intact and we've just redone the inside. So as you can see, there's some room because some of the stuffing was missing and I wanna make it nice and fluffy for them. So now we're going to stuff um, some of the polyfill from an old pillow. I'm gonna stick in here to fluff it up for Oliver and then maybe I will do a little bit more sewing. So I've got the old pillow. We're gonna go ahead and open it up and start stuffing it in here. So as you can see, I've gotten a lot of the pillow filling in here and it's made this really nice, deep, cushy area for Oliver. I think I'm gonna leave it kind of just free flowing like this so that he can nest more easily because I think that's what he didn't like before is that it wasn't as easy to nest. So now we just need to sew this back up and we'll be finished. Okay, I've come to the end of the thread. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it through here and then try to knot it back through the loop. And then we'll cut off the extra. There it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, looks like he's enjoying his bed.